Hey guys, Akami Girl here, and today I am so excited, but also a little terrified, that I found the My Little Pony Cutie Mark Crew Wave 5 releases. I have been searching for these ponies since 2019, when MLP merch released images of them and also showed that they were available for sale in Russia. Since then though, no one's really been able to find them. I have found them on AliExpress in the capsule version. However, they wanted a lot of money for just one of them. I think it was like eight or nine bucks for one of these figures, which I was not gonna pay. But luckily, I finally found some, and I think they're going to be really easy to get now. I know that on eBay UK, you can get them for about £3 each, which is a lot more reasonable. I personally was able to find mine at one of those UK discount stores, kind of a Poundland type of deal. So definitely check those stores out if you're in the UK. Hopefully, they'll release these in the US. I haven't seen anyone in the US have these. But uh, US viewers, definitely keep your eyes out. Anyway, I have 13 of these to open up. And as excited as I am, I'm also not looking forward to the confetti. Oh, why? Now, before we dive into the opening, let's have a quick look at this beautiful display box. As you can see, this is in fact wave five of the Cutie Mark crew. And the name of this series is Rainbow Beauty. I love the balloons at the top here. And of course, you can see some of the ponies you can get in this wave. Most notably, Rainbow Zakora and Sweetie Belle. I definitely want those two. And on the back, you can actually see all the ones you can get which includes rainbow ponies, metallic rainbow, rainbow sea ponies, rainbow equestria girls, and of course the chase figure, rainbow fied Zakora. All right guys, now it is time to finally open one of these. So here is what the packaging looks like. On the back, you can see that it comes with one pony, one accessory, a whole bunch of confetti. Thank you for that. Uh, a question mark thing. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like the pamphlet and one of these as well so like lipstick and nail polish um okay that that's fine i don't think that's completely accurate but should only be getting one stand and a pony and a bunch of confetti and then the pamphlet so unless this is supposed to be the little heart stand it's supposed to come with i don't know so how do you open one of these as you may know or may not know these have haunted me for several years now. I have a great disdain and hatred for the confetti packaging. So I am doing this for you all. You open the front like this and you pull the string and you get confetti everywhere. And you'll never ever have a clean house or room again. It is impossible to clean up. I absolutely hate it. Good thing the ponies are cute. So after you get confetti everywhere, it's really dumb because you can't even really get the pony out through this hole here. You actually have to tear the package open anyway, like so, and then more confetti goes everywhere. Oh gosh, look at this mess. There we go. And then we have the pamphlet first. Ooh, I see Celestia. And here's the first one, Princess Celestia. She gets ready for a royal party in the castle. And we have the accessory first. Got our little perfume bottle there. And of course the pony. Oh my gosh, look at Celestia. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I actually really like the, the two colors they went with her mane here. It kind of looks like a younger version of Princess Celestia, which is really pretty. And of course the gimmick is that all these ponies have a little gradients at their feet. And of course she also comes with one of these little heart stands that you can peg at the bottom and you can store her in the little perfume bottle like so. All right, next one up, this one with the string and pull. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is getting everywhere. These are just so hard to open. Okay, finally. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no, it's a double already. Are you kidding me? Is it actually a double or is maybe the... No, it's a double. Getting off to a great start, guys. Really. Ah, cutie mark crew, why do you do this to me? The sad part is this is not the first time this has happened. I've had really bad cutie mark crew luck and particularly with wave three. If you've seen that opening, that was not a good opening. <laughs> and so hopefully, maybe it will pick up from here. 
There we go. Who do we have? Looks like Twilight Equestria Girl Twilight. All right, there we go. It says Twilight Sparkle. She paints her nails during a study break. Okay, there you go. There we go. Finally. Okay, so we've got Twilight. Okay, let's have a look at her little nail polish holder first. Very simple, but cute. And of course, little Sai Twi with her little glasses. She is cute, but definitely one of the weaker ones, just because I really think the Equestria Girl minis, the added paint details kind of make them. Um, having the outfit all just one color with just the grading at the feet just does not look as good to me. Or she does have her glasses, so there you go. You can take those on and off. Okay, let's see who's up next. Balloon party time, let's go! Woo! Yay! Okay, who do we have in here? Pamphlet. Oh my gosh, is that Sweetie Belle? Yes! Sweetie Belle! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Sweetie Belle, she has fun styling her hair. The one of the few I wanted. Oh, definitely Sweetie Belle. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, here's a little accessory. Here is Sweetie Belle's little hairbrush she comes with. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. Look at that metallic mane. She absolutely deserves a close-up. Look at this pony. She has her little cutie mark and everything. So adorable. I'm so happy to have her. Oh my gosh, she's seriously perfect. Okay, so all I really need now is Zakora, and I will be very happy. This would be considered a very successful opening, so we still have quite a few to go through, so hopefully we can find her. To celebrate! Poor Sweetie Belle! Woo! And we have... Doo -doo -doo. Looks to be Rarity! And Rarity, it says that she relaxes at the spa with a cucumber mask. Okay, that picture is adorable. Yes, okay, here's Sea Pony Rarity. She is beautiful. Look at that. Okay, great. And then her cucumber mask is going to be right here, which, um looks interesting if you ask me um and then there's a regular mask on the other side i'm not quite sure what they were going for like i get it but i think this has to be the ugliest base design i have seen <laughs> so far in literally every single release of these ever that's my opinion though all right going for the next one oh okay well that works there we go yay so much fun guys can't wait to clean all this up <gasps> Ooh, sweetie drops or bonbon and it says that she stores sweet treats inside her makeup compact what, what, why would she do that all right well let's open up the figure here we have first sweetie well not sweetie bell sweetie drops there we go bonbon bon. and oh my gosh look at her face that is prime quality control exactly what i expect from this company but okay she is really cute i think i could probably get that off with some uh, acetone at least of course she has her base which is this orange compact that apparently she uses to store candy um that's not what these are for bonbon bon, but you consider right in there interesting that this base really isn't deep. Usually the stands are really deep and this one is not. So interestingly, but she's pretty cute. So there you go. Okay, next one. <laughs> okay, I think I saw the pamphlet fly out and I think it's Pinkie Pie. Okay, but well, what kind of Pinkie Pie? Sea Pony, Equestria Girl. And it is an Equestria Girl Pinkie Pie. She puts so many bubbles in the bathtub. Okay, that's pretty cute. And inside, I see some bubbles. And let's get out the little Equestria Girl Pinkie. And here she is. So here is a close-up of Equestria Girl Pinkie Pie. As I mentioned with Twilight, uh, these are not my favorite in the way because I just think that the paint job is kind of meh. It's not really super interesting. It's just the gradient at their feet there. I just think they need more details with their little outfits. Without them, they just kind of look really boring. Uh, and here are the bubbles she comes with. Little translucent bubble accessory, and you can just put her in there. So there you go. Cute, but not my favorite. So here is the next one here, and I just realized that the bubble was not centrally placed on the cardboard. As you can see, there is an overlap here. So I'm going to take full advantage of that and opening it up like that. Oh, looks like we have Starlight. Okay, let's open up her little pamphlet here. And oh, she's adorable. It says that Starlight Glimmer, she gives herself a magical manicure. Wouldn't it be a hoof -a cure There we go, easy open finally. And here is the nail polish she comes with. Super cute colors. I actually really like that base. Here is Starlight. Oh my gosh, I love her hoof gradient. 
looks like her face is really pale. Yeah, I guess that is her normal color, but it's throwing me off with the darker colored uh, gradient at the bottom. She looks really pale for some reason, but her hair color is perfect. She is a really pretty figure. We will put her in her little stand. So cute, she got a little mark on her face, but again, probably can get that off with acetone. Okay, this one uh, is not opening right. Uh, oh no, the thing has already popped. The, the balloon confetti thing. I didn't even pull the string and it just... Oh gosh, what a disaster. Oh my gosh. Okay, finally. That took so long. Oh, I think I see someone interesting. I think we have Apple Blue. Ah, okay. Apple Blue. Oh, she's another one of the ones I wanted. Apple Blue. She gives makeovers at a slumber party. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. And inside. Okay, we'll look at the little uh, base first, which is the same as the one that Bonbon bon came with. All right, and now we have Apple Blue. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is so perfect. I am so happy to finally have her in a solid color. You may recall that last year I did an unboxing of the Wave 4 Cutie Mark Crew multi-packs that included a translucent Apple Bloom, but this Wave had a regular colored one and she is even better. Look at her, she has a little Cutie Mark on oh, her little hair bow. She's so perfect. Oh, I love her so much. And of course, here she is in her little base. Oh my gosh, she's even cuter than the one with Bon Bon because she's just so much smaller. Look at that. And let's open this one up. Oh my gosh, okay. Who do we have? And I see a Rainbow Dash there. Rainbow Dash, she takes a mud bath after flying through the skies. Oh my gosh, I actually really love that picture there. That is adorable. Oh no, not this thing again. We'll look at Rainbow Dash first. <laughs> so here is Rainbow Dash. She has a red hoof gradient. They kind of cheapened out on her tail color though, I can see. Just a plain orange tail. Definitely one of the weaker figures as well, I think. And of course, she comes with the weirdest stand. Just saying. I know it's supposed to be a cucumber mask, but I don't know why there's a regular mask on the other side. I just don't think it translated really well in concept uh, or in the physical form. Maybe in concept it was better, but there you go. There's Rainbow Dash. <laughs> All right, guys, we have three more left. What are the chances of getting a Spa Pony and Sakura? I feel like the chances are very slim. I would love at least Sakura, so we will see. There we go. And here is the pamphlet. Oh my gosh, yes, Lemonis Blossom. We got the spa pony. She works at the spa helping ponies relax. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, let's get her opened. There she is. <laughs> here is Lotus Blossom. Oh my gosh, she is so pretty. I love the normal colored version of her. Honestly, she is gorgeous. Even better than the translucent ones, I think. These are definitely the best versions of the Kitty Mark crew. I actually really like how the gradient isn't too strong on this one, so it even looks like a completely normal release. The gradients can be nice, but I think the best is plain and simple. So that is Logos Blossom, and of course she comes with her little stand, this little perfume bottle. They reused a lot of the uh, bases, they just recolored them. So I thought that was interesting. They didn't really do that a lot before, I don't think. There she is. Oh my gosh, I am so happy to have her. She is adorable. Okay, let's go here. Second to last. And boom. <laughs> and let's see who is inside this one. <gasps> oh, is that Lyra? Okay, we'll take her. We'll take her. Oh my gosh, look at that art, guys. Lyra Heartstring. She likes to sing while putting on her makeup. Okay, she is so adorable. Oh my gosh. Let's have a look at Lyra. There she is. And her little base. So we'll look at Lyra first. So here is little Lyra. She has some confetti on her, of course. There we go. Oh, she is really precious. Adorable. Again, like the hoof gradient they gave her. Very simple. Here is her little lipstick base she comes with. I just love the color. It's probably my favorite color. And you can just put her in there. There you go. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so happy. It was not a main six. Not Sakura, but we still have one more to go. So let's see who we get. Okay, guys, it is the very last one. Let's open this one in style. Grab this. Wow, that was anticlimactic. I was ready to make something happen, but the Cutie Mark crew gods did not want that to happen, so we had a boring last opening. Hopefully, the character inside will be interesting, at least. So there's the blind bag, the pamphlet, Oh my gosh, this was not 
actually could not have been more perfect. Okay, it says Zakora. She puts her hooves up after a long day of helping out her friends. Oh my god, we actually got her on the last one too. I cannot believe it. I'm sorry for doubting you, Kitty Mark Crew Gods. You have given me exactly who I was looking for. Oh my gosh. Guys, is she not the most adorable character ever? Oh my gosh. Interesting, they did not give her a cutie mark. I did not realize that, but oh my gosh, look at her. She's so rainbowy and pretty. Oh my gosh, I am in love with her. And of course, she comes with these little bun bun slippers. It is so adorable. Look at that. There is Zakora. The There's the bunny slippers. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. This opening was perfect, aside from that one double. But, um,. You know, there's ups and downs along the road of opening up things, and uh, it ended on a high note, and that was the most important. Oh my gosh, guys, that opening went beautifully. I am so happy I was able to actually get every single character I wanted. Oh my gosh, I am just so happy right now. We ended up with one double randomly. I don't know how that happened, but um, we'll chop it up to Hasbro's really wonderful quality control. Let me know down in the comments below which one of these figures was your favorite. If it wasn't obvious enough, of course my favorite was Zakora and Sweetie Belle. They are just so perfect. I absolutely love them and I'm so happy to finally have them in my collection. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos in the future.